Do you know what the Bank of America was originally called? It was originally called the Bank of Italy. Hmm. Let me show you the proof. Here we have Genealogy of American Finance, Robert E. Wright and Richard Silla. Here we have page 41, Bank of America. There you can see it up there. Back him 100% Bank of America. Portrait of uh, Amadeo P. Giannini, founder of the Bank of Italy. Huh? What's this have to do with the Bank of America? What's the Bank of Italy have to do with the Bank of America? Well, come over here, and it says on the other on the previous page, Giannini's genius explains how the bank founded in 1904 as the Bank of Italy, and headquartered in San Francisco, survived the big earthquake of 1906 and subsequent banking panic. Wait a second. It's talking about the Bank of America. The Bank of America up here, founded by this man. But it was originally founded as the Bank of Italy. Hmm. How did it go from the Bank of Italy to the Bank of America? Interesting. So there you have it. How about that? I'm sure that there's no connections to the Vatican or anything else like that. Uh, of course not. That'd be conspiratorial. And we must always avoid conspiracy theories. <laughs> um, just found that very interesting. My wife found that in one of her books as she was researching. And, um, hmm. And I'll put up a little chart here at the end. Uh, I saw this the other day in a video. Um, and uh, showing that how much the banks are shorting silver. And it's the number one thing that the banks are shorting here in America. The 13 biggest banks in America are basically causing the price of silver to be very much repressed. So I'll put that chart up right now. And you can see at the very end there, the precious metals, they're um, you know, doing their very best to keep the price of precious metals down. Because precious metals, uh, their true value uh, is there, and it destroys the value of their phony dollar. So, look out for the banks. That'll be it. Thank you for watching.